And the cuties. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, all right, safe. We do in the Crash Bandicoot. Oh shit! Cause stupid fucking PlayStation's weird. I love this game. We are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. <laughs> Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Uh-oh. Prepare the female bandicoot. I didn't realize she has a crushed bandicoot image on her shirt. Can't wait for insane uh nitro fueled. I'm so looking forward to that. Oh good old crush bandicoot. Please don't die in the first hit. <laughs> I saw from the first time I played through this game, I died through the first hit. Oh, so many memories. I know. The first hit, I fell down the first pit as well when I played this last year. When I first came back, I was like, oh, I don't know how to play this game. Dies to the first obstacle. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, whoa, shit. Yeah, excuse me. A little bit of a cold today. I also got hay fever, so that's not a really good combo. I think I also fell down that hole. I can't remember. I know I fell down quite a few holes on the planes again for the first time in like 20 years. <laughs> falling down. I remember falling down this hole. Yeah, three more to go. One, two, and don't fall down this hole. Yeah. You know, I never got all this as a kid. I'm not gonna lie. When I first played Crash Bandicoot, I never got all that stuff. I was really bad at this game. I loved it. It was like one of my favorite games to play originally. On the PlayStation, but I was really bad at it. I remember, I remember once, um, when I was a kid. This is shortly after the PlayStation came out. Uh, I went to. Well, we have a shop called Argos in England, and we like buy. You can get load like electrical stuff and shit like that. So like, um. I was with my family, and we went to local Argos, and there was these two, I was like, I think it was like six at the time, like literally shortly after the PlayStation came out. So <laughs> they had the PlayStation booth set up, you know, so you could play the games. Wow. I remember going there, and these older guys, it's been like 12, 13, something like that. Uh, they were sitting there, not sitting there, they were standing there playing Crash Bandicoot. I was standing there watching, like, I was minding my own business and stuff like that. And, um, <laughs> they go, oh, go and let the kid play. And, you know, I was quite young then. And I watched them, like, try really hard to get past these levels. And, <laughs> me being a smartass, I quit the game. And because I recently, my dad recently bought like a PlayStation magazine 
with the super password for Crash Bandicoot 1 in it. I proceeded to basically cancel their game, put in a super password, unlock every single level, get four lives, and pretty much be like, here you go. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a smart ass back then. It was a good laugh though, because um, it was pretty much afterwards, like, we, uh, cause I don't know what my dad and mum and dad were buying at the time, if it was like a new TV or a washing machine or something. Um, but like, after I finished doing that, I gave the controller back to them, smiled and went off. And <laughs> we went home. So there's two guys, like, older than me, who just standing there, like, pretty much gobsmacked. Like, what the fuck did he just do? It's just so funny. That's a dead monkey. Ah, oh, good times. That's one of my best memories about this game. Just showing up two guys that were a bit older than me. Just to show them how Crash Bandicoot's really done. <laughs> I'm not a speeder or anything, like, don't get me wrong, I just like playing the game. And as a young kid, it was quite funny to use cheat codes. When you could use cheat codes. Can't use them now. Okay, why did I get a random Wumper through? Um, okay. A little bit confused, but that's fine. There you go. That was a pretty good memory. Um, I never... I never actually played Crash 2 growing up. Like, my best friend at the time had it, but I never really got into it as much as the first one because we rarely played it. I, I knew he had it, I tried it like a couple of times, I found it really clunky, but because I'm so used to. I don't know, the other ones. I loved Crash Bandicoot 3. That was like one of my absolute favorite games as a kid. Get the one for fruit. That's why I'm just. I don't actually know how many levels there are on the first Crash Bandicoot. It's three worlds. Sorry, my girlfriend's up. My girlfriend's asking me so many questions at once. I'm trying to reminisce. <laughs> but I can't. I don't know how many levels there are. I think it's like 26. It's like 26 levels. Because I think that's how many gems there are. Oh. Every level is quite short, yeah. Really, there's a giant boulder behind me. Never would have guessed. Run quickly, she says. I don't need all the apples. I need to try and not get squished. He's right behind me. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about getting all the apples. I got the gem. I do remember in the original, um, if the boulder crushed the crate, it didn't count. Like, because uh, there's only 16 boxes in that level. If the boulder crushed the boxes originally, um, you wasn't allowed to... Where'd my other Akko Akko go? I had another Akko Akko. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember in like the original one, like if the boulder crushed the boxes, it wouldn't count as you breaking them. So even if you hit all the boxes, or all the boxes got hit, should I say, Unless you were the one who hit them, it didn't count. It's really annoying trying to 100% it with jelly because of that. And now I just made it look really easy. Yee. Bloody platforms. I have an itchy nose. Bad time to scratch. Moving up. 
nearly clipped my bum. Oh, bonus level. There are like a couple of levels in this game that I detest. <laughs> Back from 20 years ago and and even now, there are a few that I just hate. Oh my god, I nearly jumped in the water. A little bit of a heart attack to myself. I'm trying to save the aqua aqua masks. Water is bad. Water will instantly kill you, even though you can see the bottom. Water is wet. Yeah. Wet water is wet. See, what's annoying is that you only need like three more boxes, and they are all hidden behind a gem path. Let's fight Papu Papu. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Papu Papu is now Papu passed out. Oh, dude, I remember in Crash Team Racing, Papu Papu was like really freaking hard to race against. 